Hello everybody, welcome to our uh, Open Card 3 styling video tutorial. And in this tutorial I'm gonna show you how to add some uh, extra graphic elements um, to the links in our main menu. Particularly I'm gonna show you how to add triangles to uh, menu links with uh, sub menus here. So uh, as you can see we have desktop, laptop, components and mp3 players uh, links that has um, um, uh, sub menus in, in them. So uh, first thing we're gonna do it's uh, we're gonna open our CSS file from our uh, open cart uh, folder so let's go to catalog let's go to the view um, we're gonna choose theme and we're gonna choose our theme that we activated 22 web theme um, and we're gonna go to style sheet folder and open style sheet CSS so and in this file we're gonna go all the way down and um, we're gonna add some selectors and with the properties um, for the menu as you can see I choose uh, menu ID and uh, with the drop down um, item and then I add after uh, uh, link I add uh, font awesome um, I use font awesome and I use this triangle element that uh, that rep this number uh, code represents so let's save it go back to our website and refresh it we'll see um, as you can see now uh, we have uh, triangles in our main menu uh, links main menu links that has a, a sub menu in it so uh, next uh, step we're gonna add it's we're gonna add some uh, jQuery code to make the class change when you hover over uh, so now we're gonna come back um, to our file system of the, our open cart so and then we're gonna go to one folder up and then go to template and open common uh, folder and over here we see tweak template files so we are gonna need footer template so we're gonna open it and mm, almost at the end like before the footer we're gonna add some JavaScript jQuery uh, scripts that I already copied so but I'm gonna explain so as you can see uh, we have script tags here uh, open and close tag and over here uh, it's pretty much says when document when page loads uh, completely road loads so we're gonna select selector drop down uh, mm, drop down class and we're gonna uh, when hover over this uh, selector or link uh, we're gonna um, add the class hovered so um, when you so second function it says when you move away from the from the link so it's remove class hovered so let's save it go back to our page and refresh it and um, we're gonna open uh, developer console and let's choose um, this desktop uh, link and now as you can see over here over here class drop down when you I'm gonna hover uh, hover over the link it's gonna uh, add the class hovered so let's see here we go now we have uh, Class Howard. So now we're gonna um, come back uh, to our CSS file, and we're gonna uh, change uh, change uh, our triangle to vertical. So now come back to our uh, CSS file, and again after last line, we're gonna add another uh, line uh, selector. So uh, 
pretty much it says um, it choose already class Howard uh, the same link but uh, with the uh, with the class Howard and we're gonna add uh, again after the link we're gonna add a different triangle I was a different code f151 for font awesome and we're gonna change uh, color the font red and we're gonna add some little transition so let's save it and go back to our website and refresh and we'll see so now as you can see uh, our triangle is changed to vertical um, uh, pointing up and we also change the color because our background uh, color is changed so um, now uh, you can see more clearly which uh, link has uh, main menu and main menu has a sub menu thank you for watching uh, my tutor tutorial and I'll see you next time bye